This is a brief introduction for our paper, Learning Towards Minimum Hyperspherical Energy. Our idea is motivated by the fact that filters learned in convolutional neural networks are usually highly redundant. See the first convolution layer from Alexnet as an example. One can observe that these filters are highly redundant and correlated. We ask the following question, is there a good regularization to prevent the filters to be redundant? To avoid the redundancy, we need to first define a way to characterize diversity. The most straightforward way is to use orthogonality. However, orthogonality may still result in redundancy when the filter dimension is smaller than the number of filters. To better characterize diversity, we propose the hyperspherical diversity that can reduce the neuron redundancy and improve network generalization. The figure in the slide illustrates the difference between orthogonality and our proposed regularization that utilizes hyperspherical diversity. We first define hyperspherical energy to characterize the diversity on a hypersphere. The formulation is given in the equation in the box. Different FS function leads to different hyperspherical energy. They are closely related to each other. See our paper for more details. We also consider some interesting and useful variants of MAG. For example, we can use the geodesic distance on hypersphere instead of Euclidean 1. The geodesic distance on hypersphere is in fact the angle. To avoid the collinear redundancy, we propose the half-space MAG, which combines a group of virtual neurons in the original formulation. These virtual neurons have the opposite direction to the original ones. MAG can also be understood from decoupled view. We can view the original convolution as the multiplication of angular function and magnitude function. From decoupled view, MAG actually makes lots of senses in regularizing the neural networks, and it also serves as a complementary role to weight decay. We first showed some ablation study on different MAG variants, different network width and depth. MAG performs consistently better than baselines. We also perform ablation study on MAG for hidden layers and output layers. Hyperparameter experiments are also conducted. From experiments on CIFAR and ImageNet, we observe that MAG and half-space MAG can consistently improve the classification accuracy. CNN with MAG can learn reasonable feature distribution even if the training dataset is highly imbalanced, while CNN without MAG cannot. We also apply MAG to face recognition. Specifically, we combine MAG to a state-of-the-art algorithm spheroface. The final loss is given in the box. As expected, the performance gain is very significant. Interestingly, we find that combining MAG to the discriminator of GANs can significantly improve the generation quality. Thank you.